Today, we're making Angel Angel Angelo Uncle Angel. <laughs> Uncle Angelo's eggnog. And what you will watch is Ian's gonna beat his yolks. A freaking and drop crazy, a nut. crazy mess. <laughs> hey, you wanna watch that? All those things happen. Yes. Stay tuned. Do it. Welcome to Combat Cocktails, Derek, Dan, and Ian. Probably everybody at some point is going to help produce this cocktail called Uncle Angelo's Eggnog from Dale DeGroff. It's fantastic. So ahead of time, we separate oh, yeah. some eggs. So Right. So You're not going to see that on camera because... Because if you don't know how to separate eggs, there's probably a YouTube video designed for you. So yes. I'm going to read the recipe, all the ingredients that we have here, and then we'll take it to the next level. So this is a half... This is all of An uh, Uncle Angelo's recipe split in half because I didn't want to make a punch. So our recipe is going to be three eggs separated, a quarter cup of sugar, not simple syrup, 16 ounces of whole milk, nine and a half ounces of heavy cream, four ounces of bourbon, two ounces of spiced rum. It's still a big fucking drink. It's still it a, big a big drink. drink. But it's half, and you can't really go any happier than this because it gets really complicated to work with one and a half eggs and all that bullshit. So yeah. This is just the best way to do it. Um, so you're gonna split your 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 yolk and your egg white. He's got the yolk. He's I got, got the, the egg, egg white. white. <laughs> you know what you're doing? This is gonna take a while, so you can. <laughs> right. okay. You gotta like get in there. There's not so much to get. The problem with splitting in half is there's not a lot left. So you gotta, you, as soon as you whisk it around once, everything's stuck to the sides. You gotta wait for it to come down to get it, get a hold of anything. Maybe you could use a smaller bowl. Yeah. No, because we gotta put everything in here. No, I, I'm. Oh yeah. I was being facetious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. So there is a reason right, why I don't ever while. do eggnog on the show, and this is one of the reasons. Now. Well. So. What are you doing? We're gonna do the egg whites now. Yep. And then we can jump. Why are then, you doing that? And then, because he's beating his eggs. <laughs> so, so we're putting the rest of the sugar. So we have a quarter cup of sugar. Yep. Three ounces went into the egg. You want cups of ounces. Three teaspoons. Three, three teaspoons. teaspoons. Sorry, three teaspoons. Three teaspoons in yolk, the rest goes into white. Three teaspoons. <laughs> and then the rest of it goes into the white. I will leave the instructions down below as well. Now you're not going to hear anything. We might do some jump cuts if needed. That's not too bad. This is why I was at it. Oh wow, that's cool. Is it working right away? It's turning oh, into white. Oh yeah. Oh look at it. So beat it till it's peak working. Ten seconds later. You don't need one of these fancy things. You can. You can do this for seven hours. hours. Yeah, you can. It takes like five minutes, ten to fifteen minutes on your own, and tire your forearms out. And you just gotta know how to do it. You, you gotta master it more. A lot of boring math later. Oh, we're mixing this shit up. Moments later. Now. Okay, you go over there. I'll go right here. Now you're gonna add all your ounces of whole milk, 16 ounces, to the yolk. Not to that. How do you know that you're adding 16 ounces, Ian? I bought it. Because he's gonna pour half, because he's magical. I bought a 32 ounce carton, so if you put half in there, you should be good. More moments later. Um, so, to recap, split, oh, your, split your yolks, beat and beat. Add some fucking heavy cream, holy shit. It would have been, yeah. Me measuring cups maybe would have helped on this. Liquid measuring cups. Just because the. Uh, I could have brought them down. Yeah, I did, I was, I'm just thinking of him. Like, Is that anything behind? Think it behind. It's frozen? Bubbling? Ten seconds later. Yeah, see, You're gonna need a bigger bowl. Do this in your kitchen. Yeah, I got some alcohol in there still. So. Yeah, we can probably fold right. that in later. Soon after. I think this is something that's probably easier to do in a bigger. You know what I mean? You're running it's, a big bowl, yeah. Yeah, it's like if, if you're making a big batch, a big batch is gonna be easier than a small batch for something. Like yeah. Yes. As we have seen, it can be complicated. And if you're gonna go through all this work, you wanna make enough That's to working. have it for a while. Yeah. Otherwise it's not really worth it. It's a good one though. Yeah. That's a peaky yes. That's, that's good. Eighty-two kilometers later. Into the mixer. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. That's sticky. Yeah. That's sugary. I've been uh, beating it for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to have that checked out. Because it should look like that. Great, so that <laughs> into what mixer? 
just then. By sheer coincidence. Let me let me recap while he does that. Are you putting them all in? You're gonna take your egg whites almost, almost, yeah. and your egg <laughs> yellows, split them. You're gonna sit and beat the shit out of your egg whites. To, like, fold it. I can't fold with the thing. Not okay. with this. All right. You can't really with this either. It needs to be bigger. Dude, it's gonna work. I'm seeing it fold right now. This is definitely not the kitchen on HGTV. <laughs> <laughs> he watches weird shit. Um, I'm never going to eat this. So when you're bringing the these two together, that's when yeah. you integrate do those two. I'm just trying to get it off the whisk. Just do it with the whisk. Yeah. Just kind of. Oh, look at that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's got alcohol in it. It's, it's all going to be fine. Um, so after you've done beating it, you got your peaked whites integrated together. Add your alcohol. Add the whites on top. Fold, fold it in it there. In there. Now you've got yourself a beverage. <laughs> You're gonna put it in a glass. We probably should have chilled it, but we didn't. So there's that. If we had, we just need a bigger spoon. We now, how do we get this out of the? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's it's got a, it's got a pour on the side. Oh, I guess let's give it a shot. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> just because I said it does doesn't mean it's gonna work. So we're not gonna have any ice for this. So this is gonna be a lukewarm cocktail. That's all right. Yeah, because usually you put it in the. Yeah. And then you top it with some egg white. Yeah. And then you grate a little bit more on top. But you would if you uh, cinnamon on top. Give me one. Here. See, that's how you make eggnog if Oops. you're camping during Christmas. <laughs> 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 or probably most people that aren't fucking prepared. They're like, let's make eggnog. Let's find a recipe on the internet. Let's do it. Let's do it. And that's what we did. Right. Found a recipe. Yeah, usually the we internet. throw it in the fridge. Is that. What? Yeah. The egg white? No. The, egg the final the product? The egg nut. Usually you throw it in the fridge for a couple hours and then you serve it. I, I guess. I don't know anybody who does that because that takes too much time. Then you gotta wait. Well, it's kind of like a punch. You prepare yeah. it ahead yeah. of time. Yeah, you yeah. prepare it ahead of time. You build it's it not, in. It doesn't yeah. really take that. Yeah, I mean. That's like 10 minutes. It didn't even take you that long. Yeah. It's supposed to have lumps in it. It's the egg whites. It makes it creamy. Is that. We need a photo because I'm never gonna get that photo again. <laughs> Did you get the photo? Yeah, it's just as long as it sits there for a second in frame so I can take a screenshot. Oh, okay. All right. Let me see what the fuck you created. You wanted the spoon? It's actually not that bad warm. Not mm. warm, but. I mean, it's not that warm because. No, because the cream and everything was from the cooking ingredients that were chilled, so. Yeah. Well, is it a little milky? <laughs> <laughs> no, it tastes yeah. very good. Get the towel. <laughs> I was thinking about it. It's Derek. <laughs> mm. it, that has do you, now from an alcohol well, burn standpoint. To make it's each good. Of us our own cup. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Oh, we no, have enough good. to make each of them our own cup, which means I can eat more cups. Mm. Uh, yeah. This is taste like, like yours. Stuff. Do you didn't have alcohol in yours? Did you? This is the exact same recipe I used. Yeah. Did you have alcohol? Yeah. I can't remember. It was like a mm. year or something. Yeah. Last yeah. year? Whatever. Yeah. The thing the thing is when you bring in the, the spice rum, I think what that does is it brings that like vanilla flavor to it. So it has like a little bit of like not ice cream. I like the spice rum better. Yeah. And the bourbon than the last last one we did. Oh with yeah, because that bourbon uh, and brandy? Yeah, that no, seemed with more just, traditional. Uh, no, with uh, rum and brandy. Yeah, rum and brandy. Hmm. So no, I like the spice rum better. And it's different yeah, with it's whiskey sweet. in this. The, whiskey Makes a difference in this one. If I depending yeah. on whiskey, you use it's like a really, really yeah. complicated whiskey sour. It's not sour. Yeah. No. Besides yeah. the sour part, it's just like that. It's just Minus like the that. lemon, it's got everything your Boston sour needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus nut milk and milk and sugar <laughs> and cream and cream. <laughs> but other than that, it's exactly yeah, it's exactly <laughs> and rum. So personally, I'd Nutmeg. say nutmeg. It's down there. <laughs> it is down there. <laughs> um, this is this. If you double the if you do the standard size recipe, which is actually going to be in the notes below anyway, um, the you'll have enough to be able to feed all the adults. Mm. Now, if you yeah. wanted to bring in the kids, you could do two things. You can either not add the alcohol in since you're just pouring it in at the end, and you're not like yeah. it's not part of the process. Then you could just add that in as an afterthought. Like think about yeah. how much you need. Maybe uh, Uncle 
uh, what, what's a good name for somebody who gets drunk at all of your family events? <laughs> Uncle. Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob always needs a little extra, right? Mm. So you could always top it up with a little bit more bourbon for Uncle Bob, and everybody else can have a sane amount. So sure. they, he, so Uncle Bob falls oh, asleep sooner, and you don't have to hear any more war stories. You know, just add whatever he wants into it. Also, yeah, so yeah. Everclear, a separate batch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you want it, that's if you want to have it for kids. For adults, you're planting maybe a New Year's party, or whatever. Just build yourself the whole batch and drink it, in, and just, you just have to finish it. Or you just make that's a non-alcoholic good. version, and everybody just adds their own alcohol. That's dumb. Like you do with no. No, I know. No, that's fine. But right. like when we were at your house, it's so much better when you go here's eggnog, and I'm like, yes, it is, and then you're yeah. done. True. Yeah. It's I don't easy. want to think yeah. about. Oh, what do I want to put in here? Just give me your shit. I don't care because people aren't really gonna complain. No. No. You it's know, good. I don't know. But it's like, oh, you made homemade eggnog for me for the holidays, Fuck and you, you use yeah. bourbon <laughs> and not brandy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. If no that person knows. shows up at your party, that's the one you that leaves. Yeah. Get it? Like, no. You know what, Uncle Bob? No, Uncle Stanley, get the fuck out. You don't know how to drink. You drink what's... Okay. I didn't think so. <laughs> I don't think we have a Stanley. Okay. <clears throat> Derek's had some issues during the holidays. He's just trying to... He's got some uncle issues. Just trying to work. He's, working He's just working it through. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and it, there is history and backstory. It's really short. Dale DeGroff had this from his uncle Angelo uh, during the holidays. So he basically took the recipe and he brought it to probablyliquor.com because that's usually what he's affiliated with. Uh, so if you look for Uncle Angelo's eggnog, mm. you'll probably find his recipe and this video because, I mean, come on, it's ours. So we're going to show up at the top anyway. Yeah, it's good. That's what we do. We'll show you how to make it for yeah. real. Yeah, and, and the way that you would do it at home, which is fucking chaos and shit just happens because you looked up on the internet and you started making a drink. Exactly. Like everybody so, else. So basically what just happened here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we, like, Except use a bigger bowl. I said. It makes it easier. Use a bigger is bowl. Double your recipe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a big spoon. Sweet. That's how you fold shit. Other than that. Ubon codes winter18. If you want to save yourself 18% at austinrace.com. It's almost Christmas. So by the time this video comes out, hold on. I got a date, a tag to this thing. December 20th. On the cusp of not being able to order for the holidays, but you could do it. The best thing about AustinRace.com is people start ordering for New Year's and like the rest of the time because yeah. it's a drinking is an all season affair. It is. So you could use your coupon codes, especially when you're depressed. So do it. I'll put this out. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's more depressing than the holidays. <laughs> uh, I, I will put this out on recipe.austrace.com in I, one of the forms. I don't know which one. Um, our executive producer is Ole. Uh, he's down below. He's got a longer last name, Christensen, I think. So we'll use that down below. If you want to become a Patreon subscriber to help me out, especially over the holidays as I have to pay my credit cards and everything back off, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash cmc and leave a, 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 a donation that you think is worth the effort of producing cocktails such as this, all for you, for the holidays. Let me top it with and beyond. Hand. I'll, I'll let this roll on for all those dedicated fans who are just waiting for some shit to happen. It's not gonna. No way. It's Sorry to disappoint. Are you gonna even? Drink? It's just like how. It's just like that's how he knew how to put much milk in, because he's a <laughs> freaking professional. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? You're not garnishing it for them. With some green. It's already pre-garnished. It's pre-garnished. Would you get like extra nutmeg? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, there you go. We can put it there. Oh, fuck you. It's just on the floor. <laughs> Ian dropped his. Oh, Ian dropped his nut. I thought you moved faster than that, Ian. I don't know why. I may move faster, but I still take up a lot of space. Oh, That's true. Derek. Thank you, Ian. Great. Give me the messy one. Let me get your napkin here. She likes it. Hair. Messy. Uh, we have paper towels. Anyway, sidebar holiday cocktails. Sidebar. Down below. The Bartender Starter Kit at AustinDrinks.com so you can get started with your your kit you need. Uh, also, see if I can remember put a link to our uh, Immersion Blender that we got on Amazon. I'll just take it out. And I don't remember what the brand is, but I'll, you can figure it out. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink.